another day, another video, another day with Alex in Malta. I really don't know how I'm gonna name this video, but it's going to be of me walking around the streets of the beautiful Sliema and just showing you how Malta looks like during the winter time, when it's windy and when it's... Losing time, I'm fading fast. First thing, I have to make a small disclaimer about the mask that I'm wearing. Since... <laughs> Did you feel? So, the water is splashing towards us because it's very windy. And I wanted to make this like a windy day over here in Malta. But I was saying, the face mask that I'm wearing, I know that it's the most stupid and I know that it's the most useless and pointless mask that you can find. But I wanted to wear it so that you can guys see my expression and the emotions that I'm gonna do while I'm filming outside. Now, today I decided to go around <laughs> I'm so happy that we can get even scenes like this because this is the reality that you can find while you're over here on a windy day in Malta. The second very important thing that I would like to say is that the wind is going to ruin my hair. <laughs> Not typical for me to be in a video with a bad hair day. But considering... Wow! Week one. I don't know if you guys can notice but that's an actual pool over there. The weather forecast says it's 13 degrees and it's partly cloudy. And this is what you get on the 13th of January 2022 in Malta. Honestly, I enjoy when I do this kind of videos outside, especially when there is something like an event that is going on, which today's event is a windy day in Malta. This is showing like a reality. And I love when I do this kind of reality. REALITY SHOW VIDEO Water is splashing in my face <laughs> I got an idea REALITY SHOW Alex in Malta <laughs> This is one of the most famous beaches on this side of Sliema Rocky Beach where people are Woohoo! The old buses of Malta The new buses of Malta <laughs> Since I want to mend properly throughout the entire video I'm gonna hold my hair a little bit like this Because the wind is blowing from behind and look at me <laughs> So I was saying earlier about the masks. At the moment, we need to wear masks even outside, but as of Monday, 17th of January, anyone who has uh, two doses and the booster as well can remove the mask while, going, while being outside. Now, next what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you all around this famous promenade over here that people are using for jogging, for coffees, for lunch, for whatsoever. Let me just go around like 180 degrees. <laughs> Look at it. Like this is usually full with people, people are jogging, having fun, walking around with their dogs and now it's pretty much empty. I'm gonna take you along the entire promenade from here, from Sliema, all the way down to St. Julian's. Let's see what we're gonna find out. area over here in Sliema where people are doing like an outdoor workout as you can see now it's all empty obviously considering how the weather is but this is something that I want you guys to know that even in Malta you can find like these outdoor gyms where you can work out exercise and just pump up your muscles <laughs> I think we have a little sir oh the door is closed Ta -da! Surprise, the sun is coming out. And now welcome to Tori Street, Tori Seafront, just right next to Adrian. I forgot the last name. There is the bus. Okay, so this is another promenade over here that people are using for jogging or walking or just like, look, completely empty. Maybe there is like one or two people that I can see until the end of the street, but the rest is me. I was laughing now because when I did the video, the previous video, and I was showing Valletta over winter time, and I said like how empty it is, many people told me, yes, it's empty because everyone is in quarantine in Malta. <laughs> but no, I believe that not only that we have less tourists over here, but also when it's windy and when it's rainy, people rather prefer to stay at home than going outside. <laughs> not in my case, darling. <laughs> what do we have here? Chicken! Hello. Oh my god, how cute you are. Say hello to YouTube babes. Don't be scared. 
Yep, that's the church over here in Baluta Bay. We are arriving in this spot and it's the actual borderline between Sliema and St. Julian's. On a scale in top three, Baluta Bay, it's my second favorite over here. Not because of the beach, because this beach that you can see over here, it's an artificial beach. This sand was not over here. They tried to make like a beach where people can come and swim and it was a complete flop. <laughs> but the good thing is that there's so many nice restaurants along the promenade over here. We're gonna pass by and I'm gonna show you some. Wiggy's Kitchen and the Swedish pub over there. Next, what we have over here, a healthy option. Eat well. Look at this now, guys. Ooh, beautiful. You filming? Okay. Now we are on the promenade that is connecting Baluta Bay, where we were, with Spinola Bay, where we're gonna end the video. Here, I wanted to show you how this promenade looks like and the same, oh wow, have a look at this. This is like the typical Maltese balconies. They look really, really nice. And there are several of the new buildings that they're doing over here in Malta and they're doing them in this way. For example, they will build a new building and the first two floors or the first floor will have the typical Maltese balconies and then they will continue into more, let's say, kind of a modern way. Just when I was talking about this, look at that. So we have the first floor here with the old balcony and then we the rest of the building with the new balconies. This looks like Tetris. Do you remember that game Tetris? I can't believe that I'm talking about Tetris in my videos. Anyway, slowly, slowly, we are approaching to the end of our destination, which is Pinola, as I mentioned. And at the same time, I'm seeing just this clouds and the weather is just turning quite interesting to say the least i don't know if it's going to rain or no like look at that side over there look at this side over here wow yes, it five hours later and like 10 degrees later we are filming the end of the video over here in spinola bay guys i hope you enjoyed it and i hope that you got kind of an interesting idea of how malta looks like during the winter time especially when it's windy here we are in Spinola Bay in St. Julian's. Shut the up, I'm filming. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please make sure to like the video down below and don't forget to smash that subscribe button as well. If there is any topic or any kind of video that you would like me to film, please let me know in the comment section down as well. And until I see you in my next one, bye.